Imagine a predator so terrifying, it made the T-Rex look friendly. Enter Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat that outwitted early humans and reigned supreme during the Ice Age. With fangs as long as your forearm, this wasn't your typical feline. Smilodon possessed incredible physical traits, from its massive saber teeth, up to 8 inches long, to a body size comparable to a medium polar bear. This Ice Age predator was truly a force to be reckoned with. Yet, despite its fearsome reputation, much of Smilodon's life remains a mystery. How did it hunt? Did it live in groups? And what led to its extinction? Let's get into it! The Smilodon, often known as the saber-toothed cat, was one of the most fearsome predators of the Ice Age, ruling the land as an apex predator. Standing out with its massive, curved canine teeth, this prehistoric predator was a perfect example of how evolution equipped animals with terrifying tools for survival. Smilodon were the apex predators of the Ice Age. To be an apex predator means you're at the top of the food chain with no natural enemies hunting you. They were as big as Siberian tigers, the largest big cat today. Its physical tools like sharp claws, muscular limbs, and long saber-like teeth made it the king of the Ice Age. Smilodon came in three species, all of them terrifying. The Smilodon populator, the largest species, could weigh up to 1,040 pounds, which is roughly the same weight as a medium-sized polar bear. It was far more muscular than today's big cats, with thick, robust bones covered in dense muscle, making it not just big but also incredibly powerful. One of its most unique features was its incredibly long, saber-shaped canine teeth, which could grow up to 8 inches. These were its most dangerous weapons, but surprisingly, Smilodon's bite force was not as strong as you might expect. Its bite force measured about 1,000 newtons, which is four times weaker than that of a lion. However, it didn't need a powerful bite because its saber teeth were designed to pierce soft tissue, like the necks and bellies of its prey, causing catastrophic injuries and severe blood loss. Smilodon was built to bring down large prey, and it often hunted animals like bison, camels, horses, and even mammoths. These herbivores were much bigger than Smilodon, but its large size, strength, and deadly tools gave it the advantage. It likely hunted in ambush style, using dense vegetation to sneak up on its prey. When close enough, Smilodon would leap onto its victim, using its powerful legs to pounce. While modern lions can jump up to 15 feet, 4.5 meters, Smilodon may have had an even greater vertical leap, making it an excellent hunter in various environments, from open plains to forests. There is still some debate among scientists about whether Smilodon hunted in packs or alone. Fossil evidence from places like the La Brea Tar Pits suggests that these animals might have hunted in groups, much like lions today, as multiple Smilodon remains have been found together in predator traps. Despite being such an effective predator, Smilodon went extinct around 10,000 years ago, alongside many other large Ice Age animals. The exact cause of its extinction is still debated, but it's widely believed that the loss of its large prey played a significant role. As the Ice Age came to an end, many of the giant herbivores Smilodon relied on, such as mammoths and giant bison, died out due to climate change. With fewer large prey animals to hunt, Smilodon likely couldn't adapt to the changing environment. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and see you next time!